Hey everybody, it's Margaret and it's Monday. So you know what that means? It is time for the weekly sales update. Look, I feel like I'm about to go off the screen over here. It's time for the weekly sales update. Um, so as you guys know, the previous two weeks I've done, I had really good weeks. Um, the first week was the week that we had had, had had that listing challenge and things went really well. And I felt like I rode that roller coaster right into the next week. And, but I haven't been listing as much as I obviously did that week. Um, I probably listed maybe 10 or 20 items this past week, which is just appalling. But uh, yeah, that, that was the breaks. Life happens. And so I have definitely seen a significant drop in sales. So this week, it's back to listing and selling. So let's talk about the numbers. Here we go. We'll start with eBay. So eBay, we have this um, CD lot. I started um, listing some of those heavy metal CDs um, that I picked up at a garage sale, lotting those up. Um, these two sold. Oh, I lost my little, there it goes. Um, these two sold. I took a best offer of $10.39, or they were on sale, one or the other. Uh, so with shipping and fees, oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, when I bought them, they were about 40 cents a piece when I averaged everything out. So um, it was about 80 cents for the pair of these. <clears throat> so um, with shipping and fees, my profit there was $10.47. Next up is this Croft & Barrow tie clip, tie bar, and I picked this up for, I think, $2. I couldn't find it in my spreadsheet, so it was either $2 or $3 because I don't think I would have paid more than that for sure. Um, so I took a best, no, it must have been on sale. This is best offer accepted, but it sold for $15.08. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that was, they threw that extra weird number in there just to kind of, you know, wake you up to their offer. I don't know, but it worked. Uh, so after shipping and fees, my profit there was $8.72. <laughs> and here we have this Talbot's sweater that sold. It was really pretty. When I picked it up, I this is back when I was attempting clothes. I may try clothes again someday, I don't know. But it's sat forever. You know, maybe my, maybe I just am not flipping them quick enough or something. I don't know. Um, but I picked this up for $3 and I took a best offer of $17 and that was with shipping. Um, so my profit there was $8.43. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. $8. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it. Um, next up we have this Motley Crue Saints of Los Angeles um, hat that sold, and I've had it for a while, but I, it, it sold pretty quick after I listed it. <laughs> I've had it for a while, but I finally got it listed a couple weeks ago. Um, picked it up for 50 cents, and so, uh, yeah, took a, uh, again, it must have been on sale. This is best offer accepted, but $13.72 is what it sold for. So after shipping and fees, my profit was $13.77. Yeah. Here we have a lot of vintage wrapping paper, and this sold um, for $12. Um, this was in that giant lot of wrapping paper that keeps selling, which has been really nice. Um, it, I picked this up for 10 cents. Oh, I put 10 cents down here. It was probably 10 cents a sheet is what it averaged out to be, so 50 cents. <clears throat> so uh, after shipping and fees, my net was $7.79, which minus $47.39. So still pretty good for some wrapping paper. And then here we have a new and sealed Lilo and Stitch. I'm not cleared to sell um, DVDs and CDs. I know some people can sell them on Amazon if they are below a certain amount or something like that, but I can't. If I can, I just can't figure it out, so I can't. <laughs> so I picked this up for a dollar at a garage sale and uh, sold for $14.99. This one sold pretty quick. I was surprised. Um, yeah. So after shipping and fees and everything, my profit was $14.98. And those wrap up my eBay sales. So now let's look at my Etsy sales. On Etsy, I sold this vintage strawberry shortcake and she's, she was put out by Little Debbie. She still had her tag on and everything, so that was nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, she sold for $14.99 and after shipping and fees, my net was $14.31. She was in really good shape. She had like a little pen mark on her hand or something, but that was, that was pretty much it. Huh, I thought I had a picture of it. Well, you can see it there. 
you can see it. Anyway, next up is this Snoopy plush. And these these two, I listed both of those in my listing challenge. Same with the CDs. So, you know, yeah, I need to get on it and list some more. I really think we're supposed to have a listing challenge this week. I need to check in with the girls. Okay, so here we have this vintage Snoopy plush. And he is vintage, and he's from Knoxbury Farm, which, there it is, Knoxbury Farm. His tag on his ear, his other ear, showed it. That didn't show up very well in this picture. But anyway... <clears throat> Pardon me. Vintage Snoopy, he sold for, drum roll, $64.99. Thank you very much. Uh, and he went to the UK. So, I should say Scotland. He went to Scotland because, let's just be real about it. So, they paid for shipping and everything over there. Um, so, my net there was $65.04. <laughs> I guess they like Snoopy. And then here is a purse that I bought, um, and I just listed this a couple weeks ago too. It was a really neat gold purse, and this part pulls out of this cage. Um, really great shape, looked really good. See, it pops out like that. And, um, you know, on Etsy, they don't have like a best offer feature, but I, I always I think I have it up in my title, you know, if you have an offer you want to send me? Why not? Just try it. So somebody sent me an email um, through Etsy and said, hey, you know, if you ever want to lower your price, I can offer you $35 for this. So I sent them a message back and said, hey, sounds good to me. Let's do it. $35. So I um, I bought this for $2, sold for $35, and after shipping and everything, my net was $21.35. And then finally, this was the big one. This was the biggie. Um, that sold this week. And oh my gosh, <laughs> I went to read this to my husband the other day because I was telling him what a big ching it was. And I started like tearing up reading this and just thinking about it, it's probably going to make me tear up. <laughs> so this is a sunset stitchery kit and it says, okay, here we go. I'm trying not to cry already. Cleaning and scrubbing can wait till tomorrow for babies grow up. We've learned to our sorrow. So quiet down cobwebs, dust go to sleep. I'm rocking my babies, my baby, <laughs> and babies don't keep. I made it. <laughs> All right, good job, Margaret. Uh, so I picked this up for, I think, about $2. Again, it wasn't in my, in my list, but there was another sunset, a couple other sunsets that I picked up for $2. And maybe I just put it in wrong. But it sold, this is what you want to know, right? It sold for $94.99. $94.99. Yeah. So, after shipping and fees, my net there was $85.64. Yep. So anyway, <laughs> that was a really good sale. Um, I also had a sale from uh, my, oftentimes, not oftentimes, but sometimes when I do haul videos, um, people will see things that they like and ask if they can buy it, which I'm totally cool with. Um, so we usually do like an invoice through PayPal and it all gets worked out. Uh, so I had someone buy some of the Legos that I showed in one of my previous haul videos. So after shipping and fees with all, well, there was no fees, uh, I guess PayPal fees. But anyway, after all the shipping and stuff, um, it net me $23 because they bought a bunch of the Legos and I tried to average out like how much it kind of cost me. And anyway, so it was really nice. Um, I, I like that. I like when I can sell it to somebody that watches videos and you know, not have to, it's, I don't charge as much as I would if I posted it on, because then I'm worrying about my time and the fees and the this and the that, so I can cut a deal and, you know, sell it quicker. And that's always nice for everybody, right? Right. Okay, so my net, my total profit for the week of last week was $273.50, which is still more than my goal, because I try to have at least $250 a week but seeing as my the two prior weeks was well over $400 each of those weeks, I was <laughs> disappointed. But I'm happy that I have seen, I've seen the lights, the light of listing, right? Um, so I will be listing more and checking in with the girls and seeing if we have a, a, um, 
listing challenge going on this week on the International League of Thrifters. I, I don't know, I keep doing this sign for International League of Thrifters and it, it's kind of stuck. I, I keep saying we're going to make up a new sign, but that's it. So International League of Thrifters on YouTube, um, come check us out and we uh, should be having a challenge up this week. So we'll, I'll go check with the girls. Anyway, it really got a lot of people motivated and very, you know, a bunch of people said, you know, that it... Um, Help them get get it going. Get it going. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but I did the other night, April, who is a reseller's learning curve, and she's also with us on the reseller stew. Um, she popped one up real quick. Okay, girls, tonight, you know, I need to get five things listed. Just five things before midnight. Let's do this. I was like, I could do that. So it just proved to me I could do this. <laughs> if I could get five things listed, lickety split, because April threw up a quick challenge. We can make it happen. Okay, um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope that you are listing and selling as I should be and will be after I hang up with you guys. I'm gonna go back to listing um, and making money. So that's that's what we're doing it for, right? That's why we're here. So anyway, um, make sure that you are enjoying yourself while you are sourcing and listing and selling. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you like and subscribe and yeah, enjoy yourself. Bye.